Hey nerdy boys, today we are going to be making a tier list on a tier list maker about every single fruit in the game. By the way, this is my opinion, please do not scream at me in the comments saying that I didn't rank something right. So yes, and subscribe please. So first, we have diamond. Diamond, I hate it, it's bad. It has bad combo potential, bad damage. The only good thing about it is its defense. Now we have dough. Obvious S tier, good for beginners, use it if you're a beginner, has good combos, damage, snow skill, good for sword main and gun main. Now we have dragon, dragon is a A tier, because it's very good for fruit combos, but it's not good for sword main or gun main, but everything else is good for dragon. If you're a beginner, and if you want to use dragon, don't use it while being a sword main or gun main. Use it while being a fruit main. Next is Falcon. Now Falcon, we're gonna rank it C tier below Diamond, no above Diamond because it has more combo potential than Diamond and it's pretty much just a better version of Diamond. But it doesn't have the defense buff so I'd say it's pretty equal. Now we have Buddha, Buddha, I'm gonna put it A tier below Dragon because Buddha is very good to click spam people, but if the person is a long range user, like a light user, it can completely counter you because of the range and you need to be close to click the person to death. Now we have Dark, Dark is a treacherous fruit, so I'm ranking it below Buddha. Why is it treacherous? Because while you do this move, you can get countered so easily by Cyborg V3 users. So yeah, and they're gonna combo you to death after that. But Dark is very good for combos. Now Flame B, I hate Flame. It's like probably the fruit I hate the most in the game. Next is Chop. Chop is only good if you're a sword main and you don't want to get hit by other people's swords. Now we have Gravity. Gravity is very good for combos, but without combos, it's like D tier, no, C tier because its moves are super hard to land by themselves, but I'm gonna rank it B tier above Flame. Now we have Blizzard. Blizzard is like my second favorite fruit. I think it's S tier personally because the V move is a stun that you can do in the air and it's non-counterable. It's kind of like ice v but at the end it knocks back a little bit but if you do it on the ground you'll be able to continue a combo but the skills of blizzard themselves are super good they deal so much damage like the c skill of blizzard is basically like rumble c but better next we have ice blizzards downgrade so i'm putting it in a tier above dark so Ice is very good if you manage to land the V-move. If you land a V-move, your opponent is pretty much dead because it's very hard to escape a combo once you're hit by the V-move. But if you miss the V-move, your opponent can counter you so easily that it's kind of dangerous to use it. Kilo. Kilo, the moves are literally only landable on the ground and they're all superhuman X's wannabes. So yeah, bad bottom of C tier, but it has okay combo potential. Next is Leopard, obvious best suit for PvP in the game, above though. So yes, it's just a spammy fruit, and it even has combos, you're literally gonna miss no skills, and on top of it, you can spam them. That's just crazy. Now we have Light, Light is the counter of Buddha, but I won't put it above because it requires more skill than Buddha. Its combos require less delay than like Ice and Dark, but it can snipe unlike Ice and Dark. Well, way more than Ice and Dark, so yeah, and its damage is better than these two. Next is Love. Love to me is the direct upgrade to Light, because it has better combo potential, better damage, better effects. So yeah. Next is Magma. Magma, you're gonna dominate the battle if you're fighting on the ground, but if you fight in the air, it's like C tier. But overall, I'd say it's better than Light Below Love because you can have a very good combo that's super easy to do and it kills your opponent in like 3 seconds with Magma, so that's very OP. Now we have the Invisible Paw Fruit, White on White. Well, Paw 
if you don't have a combo it's like c or d tier but thanks to its combo potential i'm gonna put it like right below ice in the a tier now is control control isn't a no skill fruit at all if you spam it you're gonna get punished but its combos are very good and their its moves are kind of easy to land if you do like e class e then look up and do control c so yeah i'm gonna rank it below paw in a tier but above dark now we have phoenix phoenix i'm ranking it at the top of b tier Phoenix is mainly just a fruit for cowards who are going to run the whole time and heal. The combo potential is okay, which is why I ranked it above gravity. So you can get kills from using Phoenix. Now we have my favorite fruit, the portal fruit. Oh, I'm making this top two, bro, because... Okay, portal, if you're using it well, you're unbeatable. You can escape any fight. But if you're a seriously good portal user, you won't even need to run. Like, it's that OP. So, the damage is the good. The damage is good. The combos are good. And it has so much potential. Like, I haven't figured out and not even a quarter of its full potential, probably. So, yeah. Now we have the legendary bomb fruit. Oh my gosh, my favorite fruit. I'm ranking it top. Just kidding. Um, D tier, second worst fruit in the game. I don't need to explain why. Okay, now Quake. Quake. I'm putting this below love in A tier because the moves are super easy to land. The combos are good. The only problem is that there's a lot of end lag between the moves. Revive, revive. You guys think that revive is bad, but it's not that bad because you can literally Soru to your opponent and do revive X. Then after, you can just continue an epic combo. And since it has a second life, I'm willing to put this right below love. Okay, next is rubber. So, Rupper's kills without being in a combo, they're quite unlandable. And even if you're in a combo, the C skill, which carries the whole moveset for combos, it's Kentrickable. So, I'm gonna have to put it below gravity. Next is Rumble. Rumble. If you're a beginner at PvP, use this fruit. It's very good for sword main, gun main, combos, damage. It's no skill if you're a fruit main and the potential of rumble is very high the mobility of it is also very good because you have three dashes and with these you can get around and surprise your opponents easily so this is why i'm ranking it s tier next is sand sand i'm gonna rank it the top of d tier because it has a little less combo potential than dark because of the fact that you can only start a combo with the X skill. Well, if you start a combo with the C skill, it would be quite hard. So let's say only the X skill, which makes it B tier and the damage isn't that high. The combos are unescapable if you manage to land them though. And sand combos, or sand is good for sword main but not gun main next is shadow shadow i love shadow like once you land the z skill your opponent is 100 percent dead if you have a good combo the problem with shadow is that you need to be quite close to your opponent to be able to land the z skill and the moves by themselves are like kind of no skill but not really like I don't see myself landing the C skill randomly without being a combo in a fight. The X skill, yes. The Z skill, yes, of course. The V skill, maybe. And the F skill is only landable if your opponent is trapped in the V skill. So yeah, definitely deserves an A tier. Next is Smoke. Smoke, I don't like this fruit. I'm gonna rank it above Falcon. Next is Spike. Spike has a very nice combo potential and has okay damage. And it's only good for fruit main, so I'm gonna put it above smoke. 
Then we have spin. Spin is like spike but with lower damage. So below smoke. Yeah. Spirit. Spirit. You guys think it's skill? No, it's not. Once you land the C skill, it's like landing the X move of sand, but easier to continue the combo because landing the c skill of spirit is way easier than the x skill of sand i'm gonna rank this in an obvious s tier below though above blizzard and by the way to run with this fruit just summon your blue bar spirits to heal and get a sprint boost now bear you the worst fruit in my opinion in the game why because the only good skill is the z skill which is actually only decent because of its low damage but it's easy to land and its other skill are just made for trolling next is spring spring is just a spam fruit but the skills are barely landable so below falcon above diamond next is string string is like the literal direct upgrade of late and I am pretty sure it's better than Magma, Quake 2, Revive 2, Shadow 2 and it's pretty equal to love but I'm gonna put it right above it because I think the combos are better and the range is way better and the damage is better too so yeah. Next is Venom Fruit. Venom Fruit literally if you want to run just use the F skill when you're low and you can spam with this through the skills ranges are quite decent but the combo potential and damage is crazy so this fruit is just no skill but I will put it above spirit in the S tier. So yeah that's my tier list and it's my opinion to remind you guys. Okay, this is the end of the video, sadly. You can state your opinions in the comments, but please be civil and respectful. Bye-bye, nerds.